Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in conversion rate optimization, we will discuss about testing methodologies. What are testing methodologies, how testing methodologies work, different types of tests to be done and what are the tools that you can think of using in order to test the applications or the landing pages or your websites. Let us get started with it. What is the testing methodology? The software testing methodology can be defined as a strategy to test and certify websites and web applications free from errors and meet the client's expectations and requirements. When you are actually delivering a particular solution or a service or a product to a particular customer, you make sure that you know that particular application or a software is thoroughly comprehensively tested across the platforms and make sure that it meets the requirements of the customers so that that is actually called as testing methodology. There are two different types of testing that can be done that is actually usually done. One is called the manual testing, the second is called the automation testing. Manual testing consists of manually testing the entire application or the product by manually by testing engineers. The second is an automated process. In the automated process what happens is you use certain tools, you use certain solutions, you use certain softwares that actually test the entire application or the product that you want to test automatically and generate the reports and those reports are analyzed to actually fix the issues, the bugs that may exist in the application or the product or the software that you are building for a particular client. So the testing can be done manually, the testing can also be done automated process. Now what are the different types of tests that actually normally implemented? across the softwares and the applications. Unit testing, it is actually done separately for each part, each module of the application or the product that you want to do. Integration testing, when you talk of integration testing, there are actually the different components within application or the product. It could be a interface, that is a different one. It could be a business logic, the functionality, then you have the database. These three are the different parts. These three are built independently and they are put together and that is called the integration test. Once the integration is done of all the different parts of the application or the product, then the integration test happens. Then functionality test. Functionality test is actually the core business logic of the application or the product that you want to sell. That is where at the heart of the application of the product lies and a functionality test is extremely important so that the application is functioning properly. Then you have smoke test. You actually do a smoke test repeatedly during the development process to ensure that you know the minor errors bugs that are existing in the application are eliminated. Then you have regression test. This application, the tool or the product that you are developing is run through the regression test to ensure that you know the speed, the viability, the usability of the application is working consistently. Then you have the finally the acceptance test. Acceptance test basically is associated with the user acceptance. It is called UAT, user acceptance test. The user when you actually develop the complete application or the software, the user themselves takes test it from the their side and that is the final test which is the user acceptance test. And in the testing tools, we have lot many tools that are available for you that you can use, that you can leverage in testing your softwares, in testing your applications, in testing your products. The first one is quality center. This is an extremely important tool, a test management tool. It can be used widely and it's being used widely to measure the performance of your application and the software. QTP is a fantastic tool that is used to test execution tool. They use to execute, executing the particular application or a software in testing methodologies. You have load runner which is a performance based tester. Load runner is actually extensively used across multiple companies to test the performance of a particular application or a software. Then you have case. It is an extended management tool that is actually manages the entire process of your testing methodology. Then you have source anywhere which is a configuration management tool. It is used extensively in configuration management testing of an application. Then you have unit which is a test harness and which is a unit test framework and this framework is extensively used in actually doing the unit testing. And 
In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is testing methodology, types of testing that can be done, the methods of testing and the testing tools. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.